Hey everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. If the ever-increasing number of emails and comments the channel receives is any indication, then more and more of you are discovering or rediscovering the unique sound of the 12-string, both electric and acoustic. In an effort to help you maximize your 12-string playing and to get the most out of the instrument, today I'm going to share with you eight essential 12-string tips. Make sure you stick around. At the end, I'm going to share with you a tip that has made a huge difference in how much I enjoy playing the 12-string. This tip is also the answer to the most frequently asked question I get. How's that for a teaser? If you play the 12-string, I promise you it'll be worth it. So let's get right into it. The first tip may seem obvious, but it's really important that your 12 string is in tune. The best way to accomplish this is to invest in a good tuner and to take your time and practice tuning. There's a lot more tension on a 12 string neck, therefore one quick tuning pass probably won't do it. That's because if any of your strings are significantly out of tune, by tuning them up to pitch, you may be pulling other strings back out of tune. I recommend tuning from low to high, getting the guitar into relative pitch, and then going back and doing a fine tuning. As far as tuners go, I recommend the Peterson strobe tuner, either the foot pedal or the clip-on. Just make sure that the tuner you're using is accurate. My second tip is my favorite tip, and that's experiment with pick thicknesses. I use a thin pick, a 0.5, and that's what I recommend. The springiness of a thin pick will allow you to get a more even strike of the string sets. My advice is experiment, see what works best for you. Just make sure that you're striking the string sets evenly, because if you're not going to bring both strings of the string set into play, there's no reason to play the 12 string. Tip number three is learn some classic 12 string riffs and licks. I mean, nothing sounds better on the 12-string than the songs that made the 12-string famous to begin with. Some riffs I recommend are Mr. Tambourine Man, More Than a Feeling, Wish You Were Here, Woman. Over the hills and far away. If you want to dig a little deeper, Hazy Shade of Winter by Simon and Garfunkel. One of my favorites, Mysterious Ways by U2. <laughs> Tip number four is arpeggiate your chords. All arpeggiating the chord means is just playing the notes individually. So rather than strumming a G chord, just play single notes. So let's say you're playing Brown Eyed Girl. Pick the notes. <music> Tip number five is tune the guitar down. Many players, in order to preserve their guitars, or just to make it easier to play, will tune down either a half step or a whole step. Not only is it easier to play, but gives it a completely different sonic quality. So I've got my ovation tuned down a full step. I'll play a little bit, you can hear how unique it sounds. <laughs> Number six is experiment with open tunings. My favorite is open C, but open G and open D are great as well. Let me give you a couple examples. Tip 
number seven is experiment with a capo. The 12 string sounds amazing when capoed, especially up high. My eighth and final tip before the bonus tip, don't forget the bonus tip, is make sure your guitar is set up properly. For most of you, the 12 string is not your primary instrument, therefore it's probably not getting as much love. Two of the most common problems with 12 string guitars, poor intonation and high action, can easily be fixed with a good setup. If you're not experienced doing setups, I don't recommend that you take your first shot at it with a 12 string. I highly encourage you to bring it to a professional and get it done properly. For those of you that are daring, there's a great article on how to set up 12 string guitars by Nashville Luthier Joe Glazer. He goes through every step of the setup process. I'll leave a link to the article in the description. Now it's time for my bonus tip, which is also the answer to the most frequently asked question I get on the channel, and that is, what type of 12-string strings do I use? These are the strings I use exclusively now on my 12-string acoustics. Ernie Ball Silk and Steel 12-String Soft. These strings have really been a difference maker in my playing. They are the most comfortable strings I've ever used. That's all I have for today. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave me a comment. If you have a 12-string tip of your own, please share it with the community. Don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Every month I give away a brand new Van Gogh 12 string guitar package. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description. If you've made it to this point in the video and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. A small gesture on your end makes a big difference on mine and I sincerely appreciate it. Most importantly though, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.